Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we will take a look at how to get the best from the both worlds ultra wide and 4K screen in the one workspace. And yeah, how I use those for day to day tasks. Let's jump in. As you may know from previous videos, I used my 4K screen for a while, firstly with 13 inch MacBook Pro, after that with Mac Mini, and I really, really enjoy high resolution screen, but <laughs> widescreen is a little bit better. About six months ago, I switched to the widescreen and I really like to work on that screen. And yeah, probably you saw that video when I compared 4K screen and ultra wide screen. But problem is both of those screens have their own strong parts and uh, also weaknesses. And I would like to mix somehow those screens on my work workspace. With 49 inch ultra wide screen, you don't have too much space left on the table for one more screen. So I have to somehow figure it out how <laughs> to use both on the same workspace. And uh, since I did it, I found a long enough desk mount stand on Amazon and ordered it. 4K screen partly stands on the top of ultra wide screen, so that is not very hard work for monitor mount to handle it, but anyways. Mount seems solid and so far doing good job holding secondary monitor. Initially I connected monitors using USB-C hub what I had, but I can say that I was happy how that looks with cables connected all around the MacBook Pro. Also this hub supports up to 30 MHz only output for HDMI. So and I had some difficulties with USB ports, they didn't power my USB microphone. So it seems that this USB hub will stay in my backpack and will be my runaround solution. It's interesting, but mm, I wanted something better for day-to-day -day work at the desk. So that was time to remember about my external video card enclosure, which has a few USB 3 ports as well. I have Aorus Gamebox with GTX 1017 inside, but I'm not using this Nvidia video card so often. I just, last time I played Doom when it was released, it was, you say me, maybe that was three months ago. So yes, I'm not frequent player. I already used this enclosure with RX 560 Radeon video card with Mac Mini and seems that it is time to replace the video card in Gamebox eGPU enclosure again. RX 560 is not the most powerful video card which is supported by Mac as in eGPUs, but it supports multiple monitors and will take off video handling tasks from my MacBook Pro, at the same time providing few more USB ports to connect microphone and whatever else can be needed. Now I am back to single cable connection to MacBook Pro. As soon as I am connecting USB-C cable, eGPU starts running and I have both monitors and peripheral devices ready to work. So that's how my desktop looks like right now. Yeah, agree. <laughs> Maybe a little bit overkill for software development, but it's quite comfortable. I can keep my I can keep my uh, simulators, uh, terminal, whatever is needed on on the screen. Of course, there is plenty of place for Xcode. This one is a GitHub client. Actually, I wish that this screen could be just a tiny bit lower, but that is minimum uh, possible height for this stand. And I really, really like to keep my desk shelf on the table. I will put links below if you are interested in any of those stuff. And um, because that really helps to organize my desk, I can keep my laptop here, I can keep all my small stuff, I don't know, external drives, uh, Kindle, test phones, USB hub, <laughs> which I will not use so often anymore. Anything can be here and it uh, still is not messy desk. I have a place for my Apple Pen, whatever. I even can keep my lens somewhere around. Could be nice to have some shelf for those as well. Yeah, that's about organization on the table. And I can hide my keyboard below as well and have 
call table for any other work, I don't know, sketching on iPad, for example, that's uh, really hand handy. My screen still is this, and this one is just additional information. Currently, I have Slack open it and some page of documentation, but it's really nice to have 4K screen back again to run full uh, resolution videos in 4K. And also, it's really handy when I am editing videos or photos. I have Final Cut Pro open at my timeline, clips, video clips and so on, effects, everything here on the bottom screen and on the top screen I have my preview for video in 4K resolution, everything is just perfect. And the same for photo editing, preview space and editing space for photos. That's really handy. Uh, Yes, you have to keep monitor in some degree to feel comfortable, but with good chair it is not so bad. Yeah, this could go a little bit lower. Maybe I will move this monitor to desk uh, mount as well, because this stand for monitor is very massive, it is functionable, but I would not say that it is nice. My external video card is right here. It makes some noise, but I will not say that it is very noisy comparing with my MacBook, 16-inch uh, MacBook Pro. Currently it is dead silent before it was very no noisy to handle this one screen. I'm not talking about two screens. Only this one screen was already too much for monitor to keep silence and when I would like to go in full extreme I can add iPad as one more screen and I can move MacBook Pro here and then I have one more screen. That's my setup. <laughs> Let me know what you think about it. Is it overkill or you like it? Just your opinion. That could be really interesting. I don't know. I will we'll see if it is too much distraction to have one more screen. For now, it uh, feels for me that it is additional productivity. It doesn't feel like distraction right now. We'll see what I will say after a few months of usage. I am using it this, in this configuration just for a few days, but so far I really like it. And of course, this is standing desk and we can move up with all the screens attached. Bye, see you on the next one.